So in this video, I'm going to be looking at your ICE task for NWAR 5122. So I will be explaining how to complete all of the ICE tasks, and the ICE task is due next week, Thursday, uh, which is the 15th of September. So firstly, where would I find my ICE task? If I go to the announcements, you will see that I've emailed it to you as well. But if I go to announcements, if I open up my module on RC Learn, and if I go to the course tools, announcements, okay? So under announcements, you'll see that you've got all ICE tasks that you on 15th September 22. Mark, okay, and then it tells you what were the other ICE tasks here. So ICE task four now is in this file here, which has been emailed to you as well. So if I click on that link, it then opens up and you can see this is where I put the VPC files. So if I open up the task two guidelines document, right? Uh, this is task two, this is ICE task. So if I click on ICE task document, I can open it up or I can download the document, okay? Um, so if I look at the document now, it says for ICE task one, it's activity 2.2.1 OSI model simulation. Submit your OSI model graphic under activity 2.2.1. So where do I go? I go into RC Learn. So I'm going to open up a new window in RC Learn. And once I've gone inside RC Learn, I will go and look for activity 2.2.1. On the left hand side here, I can see that I've got learning units. And then activity two will be in unit two. If it starts with two, it's going to be in learning unit two. So I click on learning unit two, and then I'm looking for 2.2.1. There's it here. It's under theme two. So if I click on theme two now, I can see they're speaking about the OSI model and activity 2.2.1, I need to submit something here. Now, this is the infographic that I asked you to draw. The quick way and easy way to draw an infographic is as follows. You can simply open up a Word document, okay? So in the Word document, you can insert a smart art like I've created here. Now, how did I create this one? I'll just insert a new one so that you can see how it's done. I go to insert smart art, and then I'm gonna choose a picture, right? And I'm going to scroll down and I can see this one is going to vertical picture list. That's what I want. So I'm going to select that and I'll say, OK. Then I'll start typing in here. The first one right at the top is application level layer. So number seven is application. OK. And then the next one is number six, which is um, presentation. So I type in presentation, and then the next one is, uh, what is the next one? Number five is session. Now, how do I know all of this? Because I'm looking at this diagram here. Right at the top, it says application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, and physical. Okay, so that's how I know which are the different layers. And then it also tells me here, what are the different protocols that are used here, okay? So I can see here that there are different protocols that are used for each of the different layers. So I go back into my Word document now, and number five is session. Then I go to the bottom here, I press enter. Now I want to promote it, so I'll click on the promote right at the top. And then it allows me now to type the next one. Number four is what? Transport. Okay. And then I press enter and it will insert a new one. To make this one bigger, I can just drag this down. You will see if I go here and if I drag it down. Now, I want the whole thing, not just one. So I'm going to select the, the whole diagram. 
and then I'm going to drag it down and it will make it bigger for me. Then we said it needs to say apps are working here. So apps uh, need network. And also what else I can uh, say here about application layer, application layer, DNS and uh, HTTP works here. The protocols that works here is DNS. So I can say DNS and HTTP. So we said apps need network, right? And DNS and HTTP. Similarly, I'll do the same thing here for the others. So presentation, I can see HTML is working here and it's the format of the information. So format data happens at presentation, format data, and then I can say HTML, HT, HTML is the format, okay? And I continue with the rest of them in the same way, okay? Once I've done that, it's a, it's a infographic, means it needs to have picture. So I click on the picture icon here, and I'm going to click on stock images. Application, I'm going to look for an app picture. So I'll just type in here app, and I'll press enter. This looks like apps here. Okay, I'll select that one and I'll say insert. I'll do the same for the next one. Presentation, HTML. I'll say from stock images, HTML. Let's see if it gives me anything, does not match. Uh, let's say encryption, encrypt. So if I say encrypt, oh, okay, it gives me this error, uh, this uh, picture here. So similarly, I will go and insert all of the pictures. Once I'm done with that, then I can actually change the format. So on the top here, I can go to Smart Art Design. And I can change the colors and I can make it more colorful. Okay. So if I select something like that, then I've quickly now drawn a infographic. All right. When I'm done drawing my infographic, I'm going to save it as a picture because that's what I need to submit. Okay. How do I save it as a picture? I simply right click on it and I say save as picture. And then I've already saved my picture under my NWAR folder as Subain NWAR uh, task one. Can you see? Right? And it's saving it as a PNG file. That is fine. So once I've done that now, I've saved it. I will go now and submit my ICE task one. So I go back now into um, my RC.
Okay, so as we were saying, if we look now, where do I go to go and submit? I will go back now to my RC, I will go back into RC Learn. In RC Learn now, I will go to activity 2.2.1, I click on it. And then I can see a number of people have already submitted ICE Task 1, okay? So I'm going to now say create thread. And then it's going to ask me, what must the subject be? This is ICE Task 1. And then I click here in the message and I click on the plus sign to add content. I say insert local file because I've saved it on my in my computer. And where did I save it? I saved it in uh, my folder called NWAR5122. So I can see this task one. I will say open. And you can see it has inserted my ice task here. Can you see? There's it there. When I'm done now, I can then say submit. So if I look now, so Ben has submitted. Okay. And if I click on that, I can see there's the ice task that I have submitted. Okay. Now we'll move on to the next ice task, which is ice task two. For ice task two now, it says, Connect using, I must complete activity 3.2.1, and I must connect using Ethernet and wireless LAN, right? That's what it's called. But I have said, all you need to do is to create a graphic that shows us how Ethernet works, okay? So how do I create this graphic that shows me how Ethernet works? I go and open up Visio. Where would I find Visio? I will go in here and I'll type in my browser, open a new window, I'll type office.com. Okay, office.com. So once I type in office.com, it will then take me to my office online. I can, if, I, if it does not do that, then I would log in. Currently, you can see I'm logged in on the top right-hand side. Then I would click on the left-hand side here, and then I would search for the app that I need. So if the app does not appear here, I will just click on all apps, and then I will click here to search, and I will say Visio. I'm looking for Visio. So I can see there's Visio here. I click on Visio. It opens up the Visio app for me. So what do I want to create? I want to create a basic network diagram. So I click on basic network diagram. And now remember, I'm creating an Ethernet network. All that I need to do is to drag a couple of Ethernet symbols, and then I need to type in some information. So I'm going to now put in, there's going to be a PC. I'll just drag a PC across. There's a laptop. I'll drag the laptop across. I'll click on the icon on the left-hand side here. Okay, there there's wireless. There's, there's a symbol for Ethernet. So I'm going to put in the Ethernet symbol there. And then I want maybe a printer that I'm going to connect. And then a server. Is there a server here? So this server, I'm going to connect a server. Okay. Remember now, when I create any of these, I double click and I type, this is a server. I double click on this one. I say this one is a desktop. So always, whatever I put in must be labeled. This is a laptop. This one here is what? It's a printer. So I'll say network printer. And then this one is an Ethernet. So I'll double click on it. And I'll say Ethernet. 
once I've done that, then I need to connect them all together. So I, I move my mouse over the, the object. And then when I see the green dot, I left click, hold it down, and I connect it here, right? Then I got the next, next one, the network. I left click, I hold it down, and I connect it to this dot here, okay? Then I do the same with the server. I go to the server, green dot, I connect it here. Then I go to the desktop, I left click, hold it down, and I connect it here. Now that I have all of these things connected, okay, I've got an ethernet network that has been created. I need to put some notes in now about how ethernet works. So I've created an ethernet network. How am I going to put in my notes? I click on the top here, it says text box. So I click on text box and then I drag, I left click, hold it down, I drag across, I draw in a text box. And now I want to go and get some notes on ethernet. So there, I went to my slides, I got some notes on ethernet. Now you need to type it out just to make the demo faster. I am pasting it, okay? So I'm gonna go back now. Where's my ethernet diagram? I'm gonna paste it. I've got some notes. Oh, the writing is too big. I select all of it. I go to the top here and I make it the smaller size. Okay, that's fine. Then I also go and put it in another text box because remember, that I need to explain how ethernet is actually working, right? So I'm gonna go now and I'm going to go and get some additional information, whatever the information was on LAN 802 point, ethernet standards, uh, that's, I'm looking for ethernet, there's it here, ethernet, right? So I'm gonna get this information and I'm going to go back into my diagram and I'm going to paste that information there. And I'm going to select it and change the text size so that it's readable. And then I can see I've created now a diagram. Okay, so this is the simple Ethernet diagram that has now been created. How do I save this diagram now? I go to File save as and then you can see it says download as an image right so i click on download as an image i leave this as standard i say download it's going to ask me where do you want to save it i'm going to select my nwar folder and i'm going to save it in my nwar folder okay so then i'll click on save then next what am i going to do next i'm going to have a look now at where to submit this so i go back here what am i currently working on activity the second ice task the second ice task they said was activity 3.2.1 so i go and look for activity 3.2.1 I'm going to go back to my uh, learning units under learning units. I'm going to look for activity 3.2.1. I'm going to find it under unit three. So under unit three now, 3.2.1, there's it here. So I go here and I'm looking for 3.2.1. There, I have found 3.2.1. I click on it, and I can see a number of my uh, fellow classmates have submitted, right? So then I will then say, create a thread. And then this thread is called ICE Task 2. I will do exactly the same thing in the message box. I click here, I click on the plus sign, and then I go to insert local files. I look for my ice task two. Okay, 
where did I save ice stars two? Let's just see. Ice stars two, there's it here. I click open and you'll see it has inserted my ice stars two. When I'm done, I click on submit. Again, I can verify that it has been submitted. If I click on ice stars two, it shows me my submission as ice stars two. Can you see? Right. Then I move on to the next ice task, which is ice task three. For ice task three, what do they want me to do? I go back into this document and I say, oh, okay, ice task three is activity 5.1.2, placing servers and network applications. Here as well, I'm going to use MS Visio to draw a diagram like this. And the diagram has have three domains. Domains are indicated by triangles. That's why I've got triangles in the diagram. So the diagram is going to have three triangles. It is they're going to be connected to each other. And then I'm going to have a number of different servers here. And I'm going to indicate where have I placed my servers. What servers? DNS. DHCP print file services. So how do I do this again? I go back into Visio. So there I've gone into Visio. So let me now create a new drawing so that you can watch how I'm doing it. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm done with this one. I want a new Visio diagram. So file, new. Now I'm just gonna click on new. Okay, because I need basic shapes and I need network shapes as well. So I clicked on new. Now I've got basic shapes that's there. I'm going to insert some triangles. And these triangles indicates my domains. There's three domains. So then I'll double click on it. And then I'll say this is my JHB uh, domain. This is my DBN domain, DBN. And then this is my CTN domain. Double click on it. CTN for Cape Town domain. So I've got my three domains. To connect them to each other, I just hover over it and then I can go to this point and I can say it must be joined to this shape here. I can go to this one, I can say it must be then uh, joined to this one here. This one can be joined to this one here. Okay. So I've connected all three of the domains to each other. All right. Once I've done that, now I need to insert some servers. So I can click on the left hand side here and I'm looking for networking peripherals. I'll say add. And if I click on networking peripherals now, I can see they are servers. So I'm going to place servers here in my Johannesburg, in my Durban, and then in my Cape Town offices. I'm then going to double click on them and indicate that this is Active Directory. I'm also DNS and this is DHCP, right? This one is a file and a print server. So I must write the word here, server. So one server can play multiple roles. Then here, I can go here and I can type in, this is file, print, server. Can you see? And then I continue filling in the rest of the diagram. I need to also indicate like this one here, if I double click on this link, it's a remote network, remote network. 
And then I need to indicate inside here will be a local network. So maybe I can go and put in a symbol like this one here for Cape Town. And then I'll double click on it and I'll say this one is a local network because they also asked me in the question to indicate which is remote and which is local network. When I've completed my diagram, I do exactly this, the same thing. I go to file, save as, download image, download, select my folder, and then have I got a iStars 3? Yes, I've got an iStars 3. Then I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go back into RC Learn. And I'm looking for activity 5.1.2. So it will be found here. Let me scroll down to activity 5.1.2. Right, placing servers and network applications. I click on the activity. 5.1.2 and then I click on create a journal entry. This is my ICE task 3 and then I go into the message and I click on the plus sign, insert local files and I'm looking for ICE task 3, open and I've inserted my ICE task 3, and then I say post entry. So once I've posted my entry, then I can go back and check on it or comment on it. Okay, so there's the entry that has been posted on the bottom here. Then finally, I'm going to do my last ICE task. So the last ICE task says ICE task 4, I need to do activity 7.3.1. And for this one, draw a network diagram using Visio for your POE activity 3. If I go into my POE document, there's my POE document. I can see that activity 3 from the POE says that I must draw a network diagram with all of this information. So based on this information, four floors, a dedicated office with a network printer, a dedicated small staff room, laptops, lab area consisting of 20 client machines, a shared network printer on each floor. Each floor has Wi-Fi connection to the internet. The server room and IT support office are located on the last floor. There is an internet connection on each floor, right? So based on this information, I'm going to draw a network diagram. So again, I go into Visio. I go back into Visio. So in Visio now, I'm going to create now a basic network diagram. And for the basic network diagram, I'm firstly going to draw some shapes here. Draw a shape. So the big shape is going to be the big office. Okay. Now, when I do that, I need to click here to, for the shape outline and make sure that it is black. The full, I don't need to fill it with anything. I can make this one as white. If I double click on the shape, I can type this is the office, right? So maybe this is uh, office floor. So when I'm done with that one now, I can then create other smaller offices. So once I'm done, uh, make sure that your text color is correct. So make that black. Okay. Right. I pressed escape on my keyboard. There's my office floor. I'm going to draw a new, another rectangle. So the rectangle is for the smaller office. 
again, I'm going to make sure that this is uh, this is the office. Make sure that the text. Okay, see the text is also white, so I need to change the color of the text there. There's an office there, and then there's a lab that they told me that I have. Uh, so I go and draw another rectangle. And for this rectangle as well, I'm going to put the outline, full shape, the text color. I'm going to say this one is my lab. Right, so once I've drawn the outlines now, I can then go and put in the different components that I need. I will go back and I'll look at what did they say I need to have. I need to have a small staff room. It's got a projector and it's got four computers inside. So I keep dragging and connecting the different components as I can see in this diagram here, right? This is a, a sample diagram. So you will go for each of these, you will say, okay, according to the case study or according to my POE document, it says, now you're only going to do the diagram for one floor. Dedicated office, it has a network printer. So I need to go to my diagram and say, where's my network printer, right? So I'm just gonna close the windows that I don't need. Right, network printer. So I click here and I go and I look for a printer. Where's my printers? Do I have a printer here? I'll just search for a printer. So there's a printer. The printer is going to go into that office there, right? Then they said, I need other things like, uh, let's see if this one has got, yeah. So here I can see that I've got, uh, router I'm going to need, I'm gonna drag in there. Ethernet, I'm gonna drag in. Wireless, I'm going to drag in. All the components that I need, I'm going to drag in. So switch. I'm going to drag a switch in there. They said there's a projector inside of the lab. So a projector in the lab. Then they said there was desktop computers in there. So I'm going to put in my desktop computers. Okay. And remember now, I need to double click on each of them and label them. So I'll double click on, I'll say this is your projector. This is a switch inside of the lab. These are desktops. So I can say uh, 10 desktops. And then I can continue. This is another switch. This is Ethernet. I can make this one as being my backbone. So I can call this the office backbone. And then it can also indicate that this is a bus topology. Inside here, I can indicate that this is a switch, right? And then I can also say that this is a star topology okay so i'm going to just drag it so that i can see it clearly like that all right and remember when i want to connect something i simply left click and i drag to connect there i left click drag to connect to the switch the projector can be connected to the switch as well i can Right, just drag, connect to the switch. And then similarly, I can connect this switch here to this switch, whoops. So 
So I went to hover on this one. Let me just connect this one to there. And this one is connected, the Wi-Fi is connected here. So as you can see, this one is the router. I will also need to put in um, a cloud. So I type in cloud here. There's a symbol for the cloud, put it in, double click, it, internet, internet. This one here is a wireless access point. So I need to type in wireless access point. Okay. And so on. When I'm done again, I go file save as download as an image download and then i save my image as my ice task i've already saved one here ice task four and then i go back into rc learn and i look for the activity what activity is it it says that it's activity 7.3.1. So I go and look for activity 7.3.1. It will be under learning unit 7. So learning units, learning unit number 7. And I'm looking for 7.3.1. 7.3.1 is the last one here, right? So I click on 7.3.1. Is that the correct one? 7.3.1. Yes, that's the correct one. So I go now into this activity, 7.3.1. I click on it. And then it says create a blog entry. So I create a blog entry. And this is my ICE task 4. I click on the blog entry, I click on the plus, insert local file, and I'm looking for ice task 4, open. There's my ice task 4, I can see. I say post entry. I can then check to see, has my entry been posted? Yes, there's my entry being posted on ice task 4. Can you see? Right? So now I have completed all ICE tasks, I have submitted it, and this means I should get my 10%. This is due again next week, Thursday.